Alright, we've got another preview to talk about. Let's jump straight in. Dallas Stars versus the Calgary Flames. Uh, Dallas Stars technically have home ice advantage. Uh, they are the higher seed. Uh, and let's uh, let's break it down. First off, I'd like to go through just a little bit of the history so you get the franchise leaders and their overall record. So the Flames history, um, Pablinski has the uh, 99 games, so he's the overall games leader, which I was a bit surprised that they hadn't had a player to get more than 100 playoff games. Uh, Joe Mullen has the most goals with 35 in the playoffs. Al McGuinness is the only 100 point uh, playoff scorer with 102 points. And Mike Vernon uh, has uh, 43 wins, so he's the, the overall leader in goalie wins uh, for that team. And uh, their overall record is 103 to 129, so 103 wins and 129 losses. And there we go against Dallas, and their history is pretty much Mike Modano. Like, if he was in net, he would probably have the most wins in goaltending. Um, 174 games, 58 goals, and 145 points. And Ed Belfour has 44 wins, which I just immediately, when I thought uh, thought uh, stars, I was like, oh, it's got to be Turco, right? And then you just, oh, yeah. <laughs> and they have a 171 to 171 records. They're exactly 500, the Dallas Stars. The Dallas Stars uh, last won the Cup in 1999, so it's been a little bit uh, since they've, uh, they've last lifted uh, glory, and there may have been a foot in the crease on that one. And you go 10 years before 1989 for the last time uh, the Calgary Flames uh, lifted uh, the cup. So yeah. So for both teams it's been a while, but yeah, let's break down this series and, and see where we're at. Uh, a lot of people online, uh, you know, I've, I've, I kind of go through some of these previews before I sort of make my own, um, just to see if there's any points that I'm missing or or get a good gauge. Uh, and these are written ones, not obviously the, the video ones. I, I stay clear of that, but some of the written ones. A lot of articles are saying, uh, sort of pointing towards Dallas Stars, Paul Round Robin, um, and uh, Paul Round Robin series, which I just, I don't put much stock in that. I, I really don't. Like, I'm not, I think teams went into that in a warm up and, like, just had a philosophy of let's not get injured. And some teams didn't, and some teams did. I think the Stars just didn't give it their all and uh, during that series, so yeah, I'm just not fully convinced that that is going to be their output game one of this series. It might be. If it is, then the Calgary Flames are going to destroy them, um, but I, I just don't think that that's going to be their general output. However, there were a fair few players that were scoreless on Dallas' side. Most of the big names, Sagan, Radulov, Jamie Ben, Faxa, all scoreless. So yeah, they're going to have to definitely find a way to score. Uh, against the Calgary Flames team that got some pretty good goaltending um, during their series. And uh, I know they were a bit injury depleted to Winnipeg, but yeah, they were able to stop them. And they were able to stop them to holding possession. So they were able to really, really move up and, 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 uh, and stop any sort of play um, developing in the offensive zone uh, once the, the Jets had the puck. Usually they scored a lot off lucky bounces um, off a four check or on the rush. Um, so that's where they're a bit susceptible, but this Dallas team isn't super quick. Um, so they're going to they're gonna play a very gritty game against the Flames, and I think the Flames are going to be up for that. Um, as you saw, they pretty much were fine with it with the Jets. Um, but yeah, like if but if Dallas can shut down some of these key forwards, then I think the pressure is on the Calgary Flames. Very early on in this series, if they can shut down some of these forwards and get an early win in this series, watch that pressure start to really build. And I think that's Dallas's chance in this series, is to win an early game. Win game one, um, and one turns into two pretty quickly, I think, against this Flames team. Um, and then from there, you're probably in the driver's seat to win this series. Uh, however, I'm picking Flames to win. I just think that their offense is way too good and their defense will be able to deal with. Uh, a Dallas team that never really convinced me all season that they were all, all that, and then obviously in the round robin, they didn't exactly perform. Hadobin, can he hold... Can he hold it up? Can he do what he needs to do? Obviously, Ben Bishop not exactly fit to play right now. Whether that's going to be game one, that's another story. Um, so that's something to just look at, that that might be a bit of an issue. And that's where I'm not like entirely convinced that he can hold lock down a seven-game series. I just think it's a bad matchup like for Dallas. if they, I think if they got Vancouver, they, they would have done pretty well against Vancouver-Dallas. But um, yeah, I, I just don't think that this team will be able to deal with a physical... Um, the, the physical nature of, of what the Flames will throw at them. They can pretty much play Dallas's game, but a little bit better, at least in my opinion. And, and what you saw was some of the liabilities this season, like Lucic um, scoring and making plays. He even got a goal disallowed and still got four points in the series. 
everyone really contributing. The defense was very active. Uh, goaltending and Talbot was, I mean, interesting. I don't think anyone had us had him first, you know, going first. And, and I mean, what happens to Ridge down the road? But, um, you know, if Talbot does have a stinky, you've already got ready, uh, ready to go. So I definitely give this to the Flames. I, I think the Flames are going to win. I think they're probably going to win this in... If they win, it's probably going to be done in five. If Dallas wins, it'll probably be a long series. It'll probably go six or seven. Um, but yeah, I give the edge to Calgary Flames. Like 60% edge. Um, to forty percent, uh, but yeah, I, I I do think that Dallas is going to be uh a, just just struggle to score at, at times, and I just don't think they're going to be able to play a complete game. And this Flames team showed that they were very fit. I think that was a, a very key difference in the Winnipeg Jets series that they were very fit and they were able to close out full games. And I'm not sure if Dallas Stars are there yet. Like whether they have another gear. If they have another gear, this we're in for one hell of a series. Uh, but yeah, if this is kind of what we just saw was the way, you know, the way they're going to be, then they may even get swept. So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. It's going to be a great series to watch. Um, I definitely th think look out for Kachuk. I think, uh, like he was in a bit, a bit of a different role in that first series where I feel like he's going to be a bit more of a scoring role and just add depth scoring in and, uh, Lindholm as well. Cause I, th I have a feeling the top three for both teams are going to kind of cancel each other out somewhat. Um, and then it'll be more the second, third line. That's where the difference is going to be. And I just have a feeling you're going to give that one to the Flames every time. Monaghan looks like this might be his coming out party if they can get through this. If they don't, there's a lot of pressure on the Flames. And, you know, there may even be some trades made in the offseason. I, I really think the Flames have to win this series. So that's why... I, I just have a feeling that if they go behind by a game, Dallas might be in the driver's seat to, to, to steal a couple here and um, and really dominate. Um, but I think if Flames get out to a lead, then they, they should do quite well and, and um, be, a, be managed to uh, manage to just tip away the, the stars. As long as they just get average goaltending or above average goaltending, I think they'll be fine. Anyway, guys, that is the whole video. If you did like this video, hit the like button. Otherwise, hit subscribe if you made it all this way and you haven't subscribed to the channel already because it really does help us out. We're on 116 now, so it's all happening. It's all, all lifting up slowly but surely. Um, comment down below who do you think is going to win. And uh, yeah, if you did enjoy this, then yeah, great. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you and bye.